my experience with him. Like we had an elderly person who said that he saw him like a few months in a chip shop. And he said, I'm going to pay for your chips. Ah, does that make sense? And he goes, I'm not going to let you pay for uh, these chips. I'm going to pay for them. You know, uh, and there's so many stories about Hashim. Uh, just to share one of them um, is uh, one of his family members, he had actually left home um, due to some personal reasons. And his mum was quite upset that he would left. So he was a family member, but he'd never really been around the house. So one day he turned up at their house and he knocked to the door. And the lady says, she goes, I've never really recognized him because I haven't seen him a lot. And he turned around to her and he said, oh, do you know who I am? <laughs> you know, I uh, mentioned his father's name and he said, I'm his son. Uh, and I've come to spend time with you because uh, your son's gone. So I'm going to be here for you as your son until he comes back. Oh my goodness. And he, and he hasn't spent no time with this elderly lady before. And he spent months, right, going to their house, right, and just sitting with her and saying yeah. to her, I'm here with you. Said, uh, How old was he? 21, 22. Oh, he speaks volumes to his character. He does. I don't, you know, is there a bit of you that wishes he just wasn't, hadn't been so kind? And so, because yeah. it's it, literally his kindness. Yes. His kindness led him to sit in that car that yes. day. As a parent, you just think, oh, yeah. you know. I mean, one of the stories is like um, that evening, um, Hashim never used to like enjoy driving himself. Oh. Right, so whenever he'd go out, he'd always say to whoever was with him, you're driving, right? Yeah. And even that night, what he was doing with the group of friends that were out uh, in Bambi, like, sit, like, just hanging about, he was 